Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been told they are not welcome at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in a brutal attack by a commentator. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are traveling from California to the UK for the celebrations which kick off next Thursday. But columnist Amanda Platell said she fears Harry and Meghan could overshadow the royal family during the four-day weekend. Ms. Platell highlighted Meghan's visit earlier this week to lay flowers at a memorial for the 19 children and two teachers killed in a school shooting in Texas. She suggested the Duchess could have done it another way rather than appearing so poignantly in front of the world's press. The commentator also highlighted how the Sussexes were accompanied by a photographer during a trip to Los Angeles National Cemetery for Remembrance Day in 2020. Writing in the Daily Mail, Ms. Platell said, Given that kind of form, I shudder to think what Megs might have dreamed up to grab the Jubilee limelight. I'd remind her the coming days are a celebration of the indefatigable queen who has dedicated her life to service, not self-service. Having abandoned their royal duties in Britain, vilified the racist royal family and heaped opprobrium on Prince William and Prince Charles, what right do the Sussexes even have to be here? Will Oprah Winfrey fly in with them to rain on the Queen's parade? I believe I speak for many when I say, Harry and Meghan, you are not welcome. Please just stay away. Harry and Meghan's visit to Britain will be the first time they have returned with their family since quitting royal duties for a new life in the U.S. It is not known which parts of the four-day weekend of celebrations they will appear at. A spokeswoman for the couple said, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are excited and honoured to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this June with their children. Harry and Meghan are not the only high-profile royals who won't be on the balcony at Trooping the Colour, as Prince Andrew and his children Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie will also not be there. The Duke of York retreated from public life in disgrace after a car crash interview about Jeffrey Epstein in November 2019 and in March settled a lawsuit with Virginia Jufri after she accused him of raping her when she was 17. However, Andrew's daughters have been out of the fold for far longer owing to efforts by Prince Charles to slim down the monarchy. The future king campaigned internally within the royal family to exclude his brothers from their duties as working royals but Andrew and Edward resisted. They did not, however, carve out roles for their children meaning Beatrice and Eugenie are not paid public money and do not receive police security. Historian Robert Lacey described Charles' efforts to reduce the number of working royals in his book Battle of Brothers. He wrote, This was Prince Charles' special crusade. In an age of slimming, the future monarch wanted to slim down the House of Windsor.